<laughs> my name is LaCosta and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so in today's video, you guys, in today's video, in today's video, in today's video, in today's video. <laughs> In today's video, you guys, in today's video, you guys, and in today's video, you guys. I have gotten a few questions about detangling hair, natural hair, of course. Um, and I want to come on here and show you guys exactly how I detangle my hair. Give you guys some tips and tricks on how to detangle your hair. You're, you're newly natural, you're transitioning, whatever the situation may be. You want to know how to detangle your natural hair, then just keep watching. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Did a lot of shit just to live this here lifestyle. All right, you guys. So as you can see, I am starting out with this crusty, dusty, two week old wash and go. So this is what my hair looks like after two weeks. It tends to get bigger and then shrink up. I don't, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't know why my hair does that, but it does that. So, what you are going to need is a shower comb, some clips, <laughs> some kind of something product with some slip to it. Some of my faves right now are the um, Just For Me Curl Piece. This is a pre-poo treatment, you guys, and it is so great. And then another product that I have been using here lately what is the Nature's Little Secret Fenugreek Detangling Pre-Poo. This one right here is pretty good too. And then another one is the African Pride Pre-Poo. I have done a um, comparison between the Just For Me and the African Pride. I will link that above for you guys to check out if you want to check that out. Um, and I also, for some reason, I don't know, I like the Garnier Fructis Damage Repair Treatment. Um, I tend to gravitate towards this one as well. And one more I don't have in my stash is the Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch. That one has a lot of slip too. So I just want to give you guys some um, examples of some products that you can go check out, pick up um, to help with slip. You're also going to need a bottle of warm water to stretch your hair if that is the case. I normally don't need to do that. Um, with my hair, but we all have different hair. With my daughter, I need to spritz her hair along with putting on some kind of product with some slip to it. My hair, I tend to not have to do that, but we will have to see. It has been two weeks. Just listen to your hair. The best and the biggest tip I can give you is to listen to your hair. Oh, and you're also going to need your fingers. Spirit fingers. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm going to do this in real time, you guys, so you can see at least one section in real time. So I'm just going to section out my hair. I'm going to use my fingers to section out my hair. And if you can't get through your hair um, without snagging or whatever the situation may be, you feel like you're just breaking your hair, you can, you can spritch the ends of your hair just a little bit, you know, just to make it a little bit more pliable. So, yeah, um, I am just taking my fingers and I am sectioning out my hair. I normally do four sections. You can do four, two, four, six, eight, however you know your hair is. You know your hair better than I do. I'm just giving you the basics. It's not something that you have to stick to. You can tweak it to, um, tweak it to how you want it done. So yeah, I'm going to start out with this back area right here. Just pull it out some. As you can see, it has shrinken, shrunken. It has shrank, shrunk, shrunken. Whatever word. <laughs> A good bit uh, over the past two weeks. And yeah, so what I am going to go in with is the aloe vera gel. So I'm going to put a little bit more. This is what it looks like, you guys. I don't know if you can see it. kind of looks like applesauce crisscross applesauce <laughs> kind of looks like applesauce to me make sure you get those those uh ends because once you get those ends it's kind of like everything else for me is easier to do 
Um, I am a comb type of girl. I use my fingers minimally. I'm not a full day use my fingers the whole wash day. This this not me. So yeah, this is what my hair is looking like after using the aloe vera. And as you can see, I did not use any uh, water because I feel like the products have enough water in them. And so now I'm just going to take my, you can take your fingers, you can take your shower comb, any kind of comb, white tooth comb, and just get those ends, you guys, because you want to make sure those ends are detangled. Now with my hair, I am colored. So I feel like detangling my colored hair, um is a little bit more of a nuisance than when uh, all my hair is the same color or not bleached if that makes sense so yeah this is what I'm working with and then I like to just change the angle and go this route here and as you can see like I this this aloe vera is not giving me what I need <laughs> to detangle my hair. So, what I am going to go in with, I told you guys, is the Garnier Fructis. Um, it has enough slip for me. So I am just going to put that on top of that and go that route. And let's see. Like I said, this is two week. Nothing I have, you know, once I wash and go my hair, I don't I don't comb through it again. Um, if I put it in a puff, I may brush. But as far as like the inside, I don't like the, my my as long as as far as like my roots, I don't do anything with my roots. So yeah, this is so as you guys can see that aloe, I mean that uh, cream. Not, so as you can see, that Garnier Fruit Tea got me where I needed to be. If you are detangling your hair and you feel like the product that you're using is not helping you to uh, glide through your hair, you might need to pull out a little product. That that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Is like I said in the beginning, the first big thing that you want to do is listen to your hair so we have this section right here that is all detangled so what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed up the video and then i will do a voiceover giving you guys some tips and tricks on detangling your hair okay okay all right so with this section here I'm going to spritz it with water, so, you know, like last time I told you that you can spritz it with water. You don't have to spritz it with water. You just really just depends on your hair. And with me spritzing it with the water, it's loosening up that hair. It's not as tight as it was, you know, when I first started, but it's not, it's not um, soaking wet to where those tangles will, you know, wrap around one another. You know, like if you were to just wash it and then try to detangle. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and throw some of that Garnier Fruit Teeth on here. And like I said, you can use the Just For Me, the Garnier, the Nat Nature's Little Secret. It all tends to do the same. It all tends to do the same thing. So, you don't have to get all four. One product is enough. It's just the point of trying to figure out which product you like for your hair. And I like them all. So, I just wanted to give you guys a reference point. I don't want to tell you guys, okay, go out and get you a product with slip. But don't tell you, you know, what products I have tried and really like. So, on this side, I use aloe vera. On the other side, I'm not going to put any aloe vera. So, yeah. And this is a... Um, 
two week old, two weeks, no wash, okay? And then on this side, I am just gonna go in with the Garnier without water. Again, just to show you guys, make sure you get those ends. Let's get those ends. Like I said, if you need to uh, spritz your hair with water, do that. You know, whatever routine works for you. It's totally up to you now. It, it can cause knots or whatever to be a little worse. But for me, uh, with the products that I use, I don't tend to have that issue. But then again, I don't tend to have to spritz my hair either. But like I keep saying, we all have different hair. Start at the ends of your hair. And work your way up. If you want to, you can use your fingers for this part. I am just more of a, a shower comb type of girl. You don't have to get um, a product that is made specifically for pre-pooing. You can get a product like I got the conditioner. Um, like the Garnier Fructis conditioner. You can just buy something like that. Use a conditioner you already have, Aussie Moist. Um, they have a great budget-friendly conditioner that has great slip. Okay, so now that I am all detangled, I'm all detangled, you guys, I just wanna give you some tips and tricks on detangling your hair. Detangle on a regular basis, you guys, because well, the more you detangle your hair, the less trouble you'll have. As you guys know, this was two weeks of nothing. Nada, like nothing. And I had a little tough time. I had a little tough time. Even though I feel like I detangle in like under 10, 15 minutes, it still was a little tough for me. I'm, my hair is used to being detangled weekly. So the more you detangle your hair, the better off you'll be, okay? Um, of course, you guys know I already told you, use products with slip. I already gave you examples. If you skip the head, skip on back and watch that part. <laughs> when you are done detangling your hair, you can twist up your hair. Um, I don't because my hair, once it is detangled, it pretty much stays detangled for the most part. So I don't need to twist my hair. But on the other hand, when I do my daughter's hair, I have to retwist her hair. After I detangle it, I have to retwist it. And then I also wash her hair in the twist. So, it, like I said, it depends on your hair. You need to listen to your hair. You know what works for your hair. You may have to try different things before you can even decide, okay, this is how I'm gonna do my routine because it takes, it's trial and error. Natural hair is trial and error. So you will have to really figure out what works for your hair before you actually come up with a routine. You know, as long as you have the basis, then the details, you can come up with that at a later point, okay? <laughs> I used to detangle my hair with my deep conditioning session. I no longer do that, especially like I said, because my hair is colored, it is more prone to breakage, it tangles around itself a little bit easier, I think because it's of the general dryness I have more fairy knots, stuff of that matter. So that's why you just have to listen to your hair. What I was doing before, I have to do something different. I was, I could deep condition, I mean, I could detangle my deep conditioner, but I've tried different products. What if the deep conditioner doesn't have any slip? So now we are in a dilemma. So I just like, I have started pre-pulling you guys. I, I have been doing it for a few months now. And I don't mind the extra step, you know, it, it flies by. It helps me to detangle my hair. So you can just figure out what part of your uh, wash that you want to detangle your hair. For me, at the beginning is the best. Sometimes if you have like a fairy knot and it's not wanting to come out or you're combing and you can still feel it, you're using your fingers, you can still feel it. You may need to get a pair of shears and just cut that little fairy knot out and go on about your business, okay? Another tip is don't do, don't try to detangle your hair. Do your hair in a rush. If you're frustrated, anything of that sort because you will, you will pull your hair out. I feel like breakage is inevitable. 
Um, you know, a lot of people like to say, oh, my shedded hair. Well, how do you, I mean, you know, shedded hair has a little bulb, little white bulb on it. But if it's all entangled in each other, you're gonna have some 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 breakage as well. It, it may not be a lot, but you're gonna you're gonna see some type of breakage. As you guys can see, my hair was pretty much matted. Now an, another way to combat that, I know my hair, so I know I can go in with my slip product and just detangle my hair. Some people you can't do that for. Like for my daughter, I'll start on the two back section. So on one section, I'll put the product. I'll you know, put it up and then I'll go to the other section and put the product and put it up and then come back to that original section. And well, you know, since the product has been sitting there, I'll do the product that way. So you just have to, like I said, you just have to figure out what works for you. So yeah, those are my tips and tricks. If you have not done so, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, down below. Also, while you're at it, make sure you hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I upload a new video, okay? Okay, <laughs> give me a big thumbs up, you guys. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Leave me a comment below. If you have any questions about detangling your hair, leave me a comment down in the comments below. Also, while you're at it, make sure you share this video out, you guys. Sharing is caring. And until next time, I'll holler at you guys later. Peace out.